Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Salem, Oregon, with a, uh, well, rather moronic Savtard who definitely thinks that the laws don't apply to him whatsoever because he's not driving in commerce. But you want to know who is driving in commerce? The tow truck driver that comes along and hauls off the Savtard's conveyance. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's that? I'm also recording this conversation as well. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not in commerce. Well, no shit. Well, that's good for you, Sonny, because uh, Oregon does have five different classes of driver's licenses. The A, B, and C commercial driver's licenses. The Class C restricted, which is pretty much uh, what you get before the regular Class C. And lastly, like I'm about to say now, the Class C non-commercial standard driver's license, which is the one you're supposed to have in the state of Oregon. So please proceed on down to your nearest DMV and pick up one immediately before you become another dumbass soft tart who drank the Kool-Aid. Oh wait, it's already too late for that. I'm sorry. Let's continue on. Yeah, yeah, um, I kind of got that from your plates or whatever. Yes. But, um... I also turned in the right paperwork and that's that, um, um, that I, um, um, that I'm not, um, involved in, in, in commerce. Nothing that's in, that's in no. here. Okay, so here's, here's how it's gonna go, okay? I've already taken these cases multiple times up to the Marion County, uh, Circuit Court. And none of them have ever won. None of these cases like this... And in the Supreme what, Court listen ruling? Me, listen to me, what you're about to say all these things, none of them have ever gone through and made it anywhere in the court systems, okay? Everything that you've been told or whatever is fabricated and is not true. Say what? No, don't tell them that. The next thing you know, somebody's gonna tell them that there's no such thing as Santa Claus. Oh wait, did I spoil it for somebody? Okay, I'm sorry. There is a Santa Claus, but the sovereign citizens are still wrong. And I'm just gonna let you know I've fought this time and time again through the courts multiple people for some reason this belief right now is popular and I don't know why but it is not true um, so anyways I need your driver's license and the insurance and proof of ownership and registration um, I, ha, have I committed a crime no violation sir okay so there um so um, the codes mandates procedures policies that just they're not law <laughs> The, uh, um, so as long so, as that, like what said, is your reasonable articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? Operating a vehicle on a roadway. Uh, Operate. Okay, so operating is um is actually if I'm actually getting paid to do so, I am not actually in no, commerce. That's not true. Yes, it that's is. Not, that is not the definition. Chicago of Coach Corporation versus the City of Chicago. Side. You want to continue to bastardize Black's Law Dictionary through misquotes, quote mines, and everything like that? Well, here you go. Operate an operation from Black's Law Dictionary itself, and it doesn't say what you think it says, you moron. So try, try, try again. Sends and proof of insurance, okay? Okay, so my insurance is actually private, and so is my, um, okay, so is my information. I just need proof of that then. Okay, so, uh, so that is actually a, is a private information. In addition to that, it's actually. It's not private information, man. Hey, listen to me, okay? You are required by law to give me these things. Okay, um, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but you're um, not going to be sitting there and intimidating me on this. I'm not intimidating. I'm not intimidating. Okay, so the, your tone is actually coming out, uh, coming across very intimidating, and I'm actually freezing right now. Oh, poor baby. So, with that being said and done, the thing is, is that I'm actually pointing out the fact that that is, um, is um, okay. this is actually an unlawful pullover. This is actually also a Terry, a Terry stop. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Uh, it's not a Terry stop of any sort. So this is just a normal traffic stop, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and debate for hours. Um, 
a lot of times people like to debate these things. It's not. I've even taken it up through the court system, like I've said multiple times, the Mar Marion County court system. Um, I've won those cases. What you're saying is not true. And okay, what you've so been told if, is not factual. Okay, so if I don't, um, so um, if you do not it, provide it, this information to me, I will place you under arrest and take you to the Marion County Jail, or we will attempt to ID you. Okay, so We're you're so um, so you're um, you're um, you're 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 telling me to actually. So I have to give you my ID on un, uh, under threat of arrest. Under threat. Of, I'm just telling uh, you under, the under 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 threat of. Do you have any medical issues or anything? Under, why I'm freezing. Yeah, okay. That's why I was wondering. I'm You're cold. Really bad. I'm cold. Okay. I'm just making sure you didn't have any medical issues. Well, I'm also diabetic, but other than that, that's beside the here or there. Are you having any medical issues? No. Diabetic, no. Okay? No. Okay, so I need some proof of. Uh, but uh, you're asking, you're uh, so. Am I required to actually ID myself you just under? Run the VIN number. Hey, mush for brains. Uh, what you need to do is stop listening to those moronic uh, Savtard gurus and uh, pay attention to the actual law, like this statute right here. And yes, a statute is a law. So pay attention. At this point in time, I have the right to remain silent, and I invoke, I invoke my fifth right. Okay. Well, I didn't read your eyes because you're not committing crime, really. I mean, kind of, but. So here's the deal. If I see this operator on a public roadway again, I'm going to tow it. All right? You understand? Okay. All right, now you're just going to receive some citations. They do have no trespassing signs, and this vehicle is not able to move. So, yeah, yes. Soliciting a no trespassing is um is actually illegal, officer. Citation needed, dude. I mean, you're talking to police officers who would encounter this kind of thing every day, and if it was illegal, they would be informed of that. I mean, they're not exactly uh, soft-tarred morons who think they know the law. Uh, I'm freezing. Do you have a way that somebody could come and get this vehicle or have it towed without moving up on the roads? I can make a good phone call. Huh? I can make a few phone calls. You could make phone calls? But you're actually violating my, um, you're actually, yeah. first of all, you guys are violating my, my Fourth Amendment. Let me go check some stuff on the computer and make sure this is who he is and... Uh, look at the vehicle. So they've taken my passport under threat of arrest. And um, in addition to that, they're checking my information, violating my Fourth Amendment right to privacy. The Fourth Amendment covers unwarranted searches and seizures, dude. It doesn't say anything about privacy, and it sure as hell doesn't mean that they can't look at your ID to figure out who you are. Man, oh man, you, you just haven't hit any of the marks yet. Not one thing you have said is correct at this, at this traffic stop, dude. So... Best thing to do for you to do is exercise your Fifth Amendment right because you, sir, are a complete moron. Now, from this point on, it's just going to get into more circular reasoning and everything like that. I mean, this guy has pretty much used up almost all of the soft-tard logic that his uh, soft-tard gurus uh, fed to him while uh, they were fleecing him for every dime they could. Let's jump on ahead, shall we? Five hours later. Hi, right, officer. What's your what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number, sir? Not gonna tell me your name and badge number is per your policy. Again, citation needed because well, you're constantly spewing out uh, things without citing the source or anything like that. I mean, come on now, bring us something. Give us something. Tell us a number of something. I mean, give us a court case number. Give us a, something at least so we can know that you're not full of shit. What's his name and badge number? 
This is Sergeant Demmer. He'll, Sergeant Demmer? He'll be assisting here. Okay. So we, we just wanted this to go smoothly because we're just trying to enforce Oregon law, okay? Let this officer explain this. All right, so at this time, okay, I am going to tow your vehicle. I'm going to give you the opportunity to step out and get whatever items that you uh, would like out of it before the tow company arrives. And um, I need you to tell me if there's anything of value that you're going to leave inside the vehicle that I can note on my tow. I, I live in my car, sir. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but... Like I said, uh, okay, no, you're not because the thing is that you have like one, two, on three, roadway. four, five officers here. Yep. And the thing is, is that I'm not doing anything illegal. I haven't done anything illegal. I, you have no reasonable, articulable suspicion that I have committed a crime. I never said a crime. You crime so yeah, and you're actually we, you're violating my you're you're you're, viol you're violating my 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 Fourth Amendment right for right to privacy. Okay. You're uh, you're violating my rights uh, my my right to travel. And, um, Let me just talk for a second, okay, before this goes sideways in any form fashion, okay? I'm telling you what's going to happen. You have the right to just repeat what you just said over and over again, but this is what's going to happen. You're going to step out of the vehicle. This vehicle is going to be towed, okay? And if you don't do that, then we'll have to put hands on you. And, and I don't why is my that. vehicle going to be towed? Because you don't have insurance. You don't have... You're suspended. Hold on a second. Let me show you something Listen real quick. Listen to me. Let me show you something real quick. What? You can watch me closely. Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab a folder real quick. You're going to show me some of the Constitution's paperwork? I'm going to grab my folders. This is one of my folders right here. Sir, I've already told you, okay? The thing is, is I've already gone to, I've even gone to circuit court on these these type of papers okay, and this, charges. This is my and none of it even holds here? up in circuit court. Okay. I've gone through it multiple times, and people like, you know, it just, and none of this holds up. And I'm sorry you've been misinformed by somebody and that you fell for this, but that it's just not true. You also are suspended in the state of Oregon and do not have a driver's license and cannot drive. The company, can you please stop digging around back there? Okay, unless you get out and I'm able to kind of look for weapons or whatever real quick. And There's no that, weapons in here. Okay. This is for that right here. Here's all the Supreme Court rulings right here. I'm okay. really happy that you have this information. And if you would like to take this to court at a different time, you can. I'm not telling you that you can't. You'll have your opportunity in court. Okay? And I'm not can, driving. I am traveling, you sir. You can talk to a judge about this. Okay. This is what's going to happen. Remember I just said you can talk around in circles or whatever, but at this time, this is what's going to happen. Okay? What's his first name? Antonio. Antonio. Antonio, I'm the supervisor. Sir, right here. Antonio. No, res no registration is required by Antonio. law. Here's all your UCC codes Antonio. right here. I'm the supervisor here. And this officer has been more than polite with you, okay? Yes, you're being audio and video recorded if somebody hasn't told you that yet, but you need to exit the car. The car is subject to tow, and you are subject to citation. You need to exit the car so we don't have to make this a bigger deal than what it needs to, okay? We can't sit here and go around and around. You're more than welcome to bring that stuff at your day in court, but right now it means nothing to us because we are complying with uh, or we're enforcing the, the laws of the state of Oregon. Okay, and you're in the state of Oregon. So you can show me that all you want, but that doesn't matter. Okay, I'm being more than polite with you right now. Okay, give me a moment. Antonio, you've had lots of moments. Okay, unbuckle your seatbelt, Antonio, and get out of the car, please. Antonio. Here's my fee schedule, sir. Okay, if you actually are taking it, actually. You're more than welcome to bring that with you in court. You're going to have the, all the opportunity to bring all that stuff with you. Okay. You need to unbuckle your seatbelt. Can seat you issue my citation, please? No, you need to get out of the car, Antonio. The car is subject to tow. Go ahead and get out of the car, Antonio. Give me a moment to put this back. Antonio, you need to get out of the car. Thank you. This officer will issue all your citations as soon as you exit the car. You're going to have every opportunity to grab whatever belongings you need out of the car. Okay, go ahead and hop on out. Thank you very much. Do you have any weapons on you, Antonio? I have the right to remain silent. Go ahead and hop on out.
I'm being removed out of my gun under threat of duress. I do not, I, I do not consent to the my search and seals. But, but for my safety, I am this is um, Terry versus Ohio. Thank you. And well, now there you have it. Uh, stupid is, as stupid does. Uh, maybe next time you should consider uh, actually reading up on the statutes because, well, that might save you a lot of pain and suffering in the long run. Because these soft hard gurus that you've been listening to don't have all the answers, dude. Before you get fleeced by anybody else, why don't you try doing the actual research? checking other sources and everything like that and don't buy into everything that comes along because well that's just a way for you to get scammed so maybe next time you'll learn but who knows so at any rate guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?